Hey guys, this is another video from Raz Grease 2006. I got a DM14 here. And uh, we're going to be comparing uh, the stock O rings in this to the uh, O ring group by. It came in today. Woo! So we're going to be uh, comparing these. Uh, as I said before, uh, all these O rings are stock. Die went with black O20s this year, which, you know, whatever. Nobody cares. But uh, the stock O11s. <clears throat> the stock 017 so you see that little piece of orange stock 014 blue I don't know if you can see that and we've got our stock blue 014 that tip and our stock 017 in our beer can if you can see that so uh, I'm going to stop the video here and lube this a bit and then we're gonna we're gonna tune it the way I tune it. Maybe you'll learn about my tuning, and we'll see uh, what LPR setting we get. So we're back. We have everything looped up, ready to go. The LPR is currently at a hard zero. Uh, right now the bolt is uh, kind of a pain in the ass to to move. This is a low shot count bolt. It's almost brand new. All the O-rings are from the factory, and the only difference is I have some some lurker lube on this. Let's uh, let's try the good old flick test. And <clears throat> so doesn't really <clears throat> want to flick out on the first one. You got to really <clears throat> to get it going. But you know whatever. That's how they come from the factory because uh, they need uh, certain people for it to always work. So when we turn this on, it should put our bolt totally forward. Whoops. And it didn't. Weird. Now well, let's try firing a shot. Why not? Okay. It is stuck back. Usually they stick forward. That's really weird, but whatever. We'll continue. Or maybe. Maybe I don't have my LPR in all the way. I thought I did, but maybe I don't. It's hard to turn. Yeah, that's... They say from resistance, and that's quite a bit. Okay. So, um, when you're tuning these, they say from zero turns is when you feel resistance. I don't subscribe to that. Uh, what I do is, you, I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but right now it's just solenoid clicking. There's zero air getting to the solenoid right now. The LPR is turned off. So just solenoid clicking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the eyes off, which you guys don't have any LED, but you should see that. That's, that's eyes off. And we're going to slowly back this out until we hear the solenoid kind of puffing on air a little bit. So let's see, uh, this way. Okay, there it is. I don't know if, once again, you can hear it. This is, this is what I call zero turns right here. So We'll go, we're going to, I know this is going to take a little while, so let's go one full turn. So, now that's still not good enough because if you hear it, it it's still not, It's that's not a bang, that's, that's just the bolt moving forward. If there was a paintball in it, it would choke on it. So let's go half a turn, or a quarter of a turn, mm, bam, quarter of a turn, bang, 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 okay, that's actually really good for a stock bolt, but let's, uh, let's wait a few seconds and see if it chokes on it or not, hmm, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000, 11, 1,000, 13, 1,000, 14, 1,000, 15, 1,000.
Well, I'll be damned. See, but I, when I put my finger in it, I just know this isn't enough. It might be able to beat the detents, but it wouldn't beat a pink ball. See, uh, no, that's not enough. So let's do another quarter of a turn. This is really unscientific, isn't it? So, lamp. Still not enough. So we're at one point. We're at one point five turns right now. Now we're at 1.75 turns, and we might be there. Mm, not quite. So we'll go to two turns on this bad boy. I think we're, I think two turns does it. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop. The, all right, so we're back again, a little longer than I expected, but I've went through the bolt and the Duro 60 111 or 011s. These are the FDA Vitons. Are on the back. Oh, sorry. Now you can see it. They're white. And then we have the 014 Buna 50, which uh, stock is blue. This is black. You're just going to have to take my word for it. We have a 015, sorry, an 017 Buna 50. And then we got the um, Buna 50 014 also on the bolt tip, which lets you go like this. It's so awesome. Trust me. And then we got the uh, 50 Duro bur bumpers on each side. That's been covered in another video already. And then in the beer can, we also have a 50 Duro 017. So just throwing this all back together. Um... We're going to, once again, do our LPR test. So while the gun is not aired up, I'm going to turn this all the way in to zero. Okay. And then, so uh, one thing I did forget to go over, uh, we didn't really flick test this. So... Um, I don't know how much you can tell from the video, but this is simply much easier to flick. Much, much easier. You know, it doesn't take much at all to get it fully extended. I can move it in my hands very easily. No leaks. So, um, yeah. And we toss that sucker back in. Air it up. No leaks. Cool. Um, the the eyes are off. Let's see if we. Okay, we're getting a little puff on the solenoid. I got to turn that in just a bit more. Okay, that's all solenoid click. So here we go. Weird. 
Okay, so right there, we are at a little bit of air in there. So we're going to go... Just a little bit of air. I don't know why it puffed there a little bit, but whatever. Let's go quarter of a turn out. And so, bam. Uh, the bolt came forward a little bit. Push it back. Just forward a little bit. Like I said, we're a quarter turn from zero, so that's... You know, we're not, I'm not looking to make miracles here. We're just tuning using softer O-rings. So let's go another quarter of a turn. Bam. Once again, it's going about halfway in. It's just, just not enough force yet. Uh, I don't know if you can, if you, if you pull enough times, it'll, it'll fire. So we're at a half turn. Now we're going to 0.75 turns. Um, if I can get in the darn hole. Point <laughs> seven five turns. Not quite there. So we'll do another quarter of a turn. And bam. Okay. Um. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand, nine one thousand, ten one thousand. Okay. Now let's do the finger test. Not quite. And so let's do quarter of a turn. Mm, just about there. Let's do let's do another quarter of a turn. So whoop. Now keep in mind my finger's attached to my arm, so it's not going to totally blow out my finger. I'm going by feel on just how much this is pushing my finger. So, yeah. So, uh, I think we finished. I don't have a chrono, obviously. Uh, this is not scientific, but it's looking like we're finishing at about 1.5 turns uh, for the special O-rings. Now, disclaimer, this gun's not broken in at all. Um, I was feeling my PM8 bolt. It's a lot slicker. It's more polished because of, you know, extended use. This one's a little rough still. Um, still taking lots of lube in order to, like, like I'll put on lube and then I'll work it a little bit and then like all the lube's gone, which is telling me that all the lube is going into the pits and stuff and and all that. So, um, about a half turn right now. I think that'll increase more as. Um, as it gets broken in, you know, the O-rings still have to be broken in as well. And, and the other thing is, is this is just on my table. We don't know over a chrono how consistent or whatever. I'll, when, I, when I have a little bit more money to just blow, you know, over a chrono outside, shooting, you know, paintballs that are three cents each, I'll, I'll do it. But right now, I this is what we got. So um, leave comments, do what you want. And uh, I might add more to this video, and yeah. Oh, and uh, kind of a bonus video for those uh, still sticking around. I got the shirt on here to, it's loud, but uh, this just kind of a mini recoil test for after putting on the bumpers, and I got a squeegee in the other end. But, uh... It, that didn't really recoil much at all.